All right, welcome back, Physical Science 20. So I left you with this. We looked at, uh, let's see here, benzaldehyde. We figured out to go from grams to moles to molecules of benzaldehyde. Then for every one molecule of this, we saw that there was six plus one, seven carbon atoms. So that's how we can find individual carbon atoms. So we'll do the same thing with H. So first of all, I'll start off with how many molecules we have. So hopefully you had time to work this out yourself, or at least try it. So molecules C6H5CHO. And as we can see, for every one molecule of C6H5CHO, we have, let's see here, 5 plus 1, 6 atoms of H. So that... Plug it in your calculator, that's going to give you 9.01, uh, 8939 times 10 to the 23 atoms of H. Then, of course, round it off to three sig figs. Uh, let's see, that's going to give us, uh, so, so it's 9.018, so that 8 is going to bump that 1 up by 1, 9.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of H. Let's just see what there we go. All right. A similar process is used to figure out O. So we'll start off with our total molecules of benzaldehyde. So 1.503156 molecules of C6H5CHO. And as we can see, for every one molecule of C6H5CHO, I have, let's see here, 5 plus 1. Oh, no, sorry, we're looking at O this time. There's just one. There's just one atom of O. So cancel, cancel. So, hey, we end up with whatever we have for molecules, that's going to be equivalent to what we have for O. And uh, three sig figs, one, two, three. So it's going to give us 1.50 times 10 to the 23 atoms of O. So that is how we do it. So by looking at the formula, you're simply looking at the formula of the compound. All right, if we turn to the flip side, we'll look at a formula unit example. So looking at a ionic compound. So we're given how many grams of calcium phosphate. We're asked to find how many individual ions there are. So in order to do that, we have to figure out how many formula units there are, first of all. So again, we look at the bottom here. Grams, moles, formula units. And then from there, we can think we can use the formula of calcium phosphate, is it, to figure out individual ions. Okay, so it's that extra step at the end. So one, two, three steps. So grams to moles to formula units to ions. So of course, yes, this step here requires the good old molar mass of calcium phosphate. So if we look here, for every one mole of this, we have, let's see here, three moles of calcium, uh, two moles of phosphorus, and let's see, two times four, that's going to give me eight oxygens. Okay, so look up each one of those on the periodic table, and calcium is 40.08, phosphorus, 30.97, and then we have that. Let's multiply that all out, 120.24, 61.94, plus 128. So that's going to give me 310.18 grams per mole. All right, so we can do this part first, because all of, whether I'm looking for calcium or phosphate, I have to figure out how many formula units of calcium phosphate, or just how much calcium phosphate I actually have. So I'm starting off with 2.5 grams calcium phosphate and going from grams to moles, grams to moles, 
of calcium phosphate. Okay, so according to this, one mole is 310.18, according to this. So I have moles. But I'm going to go to formula units, so I have to go one more step here initially. For every one mole of calcium phosphate, I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So this time I'm talking about formula units of calcium phosphate. And let's see, that works out to be 4.85202 times 10 to the 21 formula units calcium phosphate. And we won't round off. We won't round off until the very end. All right, so it says here individual calcium ions and individual phosphate ions. So individual calcium ions and individual phosphate ions. I'll put down here somewhere. So start off with the left. So we know formula units or just calcium phosphates, how much I have. CaPO42. And for every one formula unit of calcium phosphate, you can see that I have three calcium ions. So for every one of these, I have three calcium. So that's going to give me, plug it in your calculator, 1.455606 times 10 to 25 calcium ions. And let's see here, two sig figs. Two sig figs, so that's going to round off to be 1.5 times 10 to the 25 Ca2 plus ions. All right, so that's how we do that. So it's a little bit different. You're looking at the ionic charges and seeing how much you have left in terms of the formula. Three calciums, two phosphates. And don't forget, you're using the whole PO4 group. So again, start off with how many formula units I have. Calcium phosphate. And according to this, for every one formula unit of calcium phosphate, I have two PO4 3 minus ions. 3 minus ions. So I have two of these for every three of these. That's going to give us 9.70404 times 10 to the 21 phosphate ions. And again, to two sig figs, 9.7 times 10 to the 21 formula units of phosphate ions. So there we go. So three steps if we're breaking down to individual atoms or ions and if I have a molecular or ionic compound. All right, so that's it. So hopefully you can do the assignment now. Check your answers, and we'll see you again.